an open letter to my illness. Dear Lupus, you suck. You suck big time. I remember when we first met, the winter of sixth grade. I didn't know anything about you, couldn't figure you out. But you showed yourself in various ways, like joint pain, stomach pain, anemia, exhaustion, and so much weight loss that if I was a little taller back then, I would have looked like a giant walking stick bug. You're an enigma, I still don't know the true you. But you drive me crazy, so I have some things to say from my body to you. From my ankles and my knees. Dude, seriously? Right when I'm about to start gym, I'm gonna be running and jumping and being physical. I kinda need to be in working order for that to happen. But no, as soon as I run one step, you're there saying, no, 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 that won't do. Each time I take a step, you're there thrusting a knife into my ankle. Maybe I wanna feel good when I exercise. Maybe I don't want to feel horrible just because I was standing or walking for more than five minutes. But you make it impossible. From my mouth, all the medicine I take to keep you under control causes constant sores in my mouth. How am I supposed to sing like that? Sores rubbing along my tongue and my cheeks, blistering painfully each time I so much as open my mouth not my idea of fun from my stomach. I don't wanna hate food, I love food. Throw whatever you got in me, I'm all for it. But anytime I eat something you disagree with even a little bit, it's, ooh, yeah, not gonna happen. Not unless you wanna spend the next four hours on the toilet. It's constant pain and nausea and several other kinds of gross things that I don't want to disclose. From my hands, I really do love writing until you swoop in and bring intense hand cramps. But I love writing, unless it's an English essay, of course. From all of me, I'm always tired. And it's not because I'm a teenager and go to bed late, no. It's because you have me constantly exhausted no matter how much sleep I get for some reason. Also, I'm tired of people saying that you don't look sick to me because of you. Every time I try to explain you to someone, they look me up and down with their arms crossed and their eyes narrowed. Everyone's a skeptic because while you suck, it doesn't show. And physically, I am apparently the picture of health. Okay. I have you, but apparently the diagnosis alone isn't enough for some people. From high school me, I hate having to explain to my teachers every year and every quarter when I get a new gym teacher and need a new note because you can't just pass them along, apparently. From summer me, I lather on sunscreen and burn my cheeks every year at the beach because of the new sensitivity you've given me. Vacations are fun and all, but you make hiking hard and even just walking through New York City or DC hurts because of you. But I guess you're not all that bad. When I'm really not feeling school, you've got my back. <laughs> and I may take tons of medicine, but without you I never would have learned how to swallow a pill, which is kind of important. And it may cause sores in my mouth, but at least there are medicines that I can take. Thank you, Lupus, for bringing this unknown illness to my awareness. Thank you, Lupus, for introducing me to the best doctor ever. And while you suck, you're a part of me. Sincerely, Sammy. <laughs>